hello everybody welcome back to my channel so today you'll be learning another lesson from the supplementary part and that is called the goat and the stars so let's begin with the lesson every morning when he came into the town he would see this large notice in blue and scarlet letters on a board outside the church it had been there since a month before christmas annual collection of christmas gifts in this church on christmas eve help us to help others no gift too large none too small give generously and then in very much larger angry letters this means you the story begins that every morning there was a boy who used to go to the town and he would always see a large notice which was kept outside the church and it was written in blue and scarlet letters those are the colors so scarlet is nothing but bright red color and it had been since a month before christmas and they had kept the board outside the church and it was written in that annual collection of christmas gifts in this church on christmas eve on the day of christmas and help everyone help us to help others and they also specified that no gift is too large nor too small and give generously give lavishly open handedly and also there was something written this means you he was a small boy with a look of determination on his thin lips large brown trousers gave him a curious look of being shown off with sheep shears there were always mud on his boots and there were times when he did not smell very sweet now this boy he was a small boy with a look of determination and the pants that he wore it was a large brown color and it gave him a curious look and there was always mud on his boots and there were times when he did not smell very good there was reason for this smell his father and mother had a small farm of about 10 acres 2 miles out in the country on a little pasture they grazed a mare and two or three cows a score of hens and a dozen goats it was because of the goats that the boy had that smell he was very fond of the goats and it was his job to graze them every morning and bring them back to the pigsty again before darkness fell he treated the goats like friends he knew that they were his friends at frequent intervals the number of goats was increased but his father could never sell the kids or even give them away now they had 13 goats the odd one a kid of 6 weeks all white as pure as snow now there was a reason why he was not smelling good his father and mother they had a small farm so on a little pasture the place where they take the animals to graze so they grazed a mare it's a female horse and two or three cows and a dozen of goats and few hens now it was because of the goats that the boy was having that smell on his body or on his clothes now he was very fond of the goats and it was his job to take them for grazing and he would bring them back to the pig sty again before darkness now what is a pig sty it is a small scale outdoor place where you raise the domestic animals now he treated these goats like friends and not like animals and he knew that they were his friends so at frequent intervals the number of goats were increasing and his father never sold the goats or gave them away so now totally they had 13 goats and in that the last one the odd one was a kid kid means a small goat of 6 weeks and it was all white as pure as 
snow. Every morning, when he went by the church, the notice made him uneasy. It was the larger letters, this means you, that troubled him. As Christmas came near, he worried more about it. The notice seemed to hit him in the face. It singled him out from the rest of the world. This means you. He began to think if there was anything he could do about it. He felt that he had to do something. The notice made him feel as if it were watching him. Gradually, he began to feel that in addition to the notice, God too was watching him. In a way, God and the notice were one. Now, every morning, whenever he would cross the path of the church, he would notice that board which was there and it would make him very uncomfortable. Especially the words, this means you, that troubled him. And as Christmas came near, he started worrying about it more and more. Now this notice, it seemed as if it was for him directly. They are pointing out towards him. This means you. He started thinking about it. What can he do? He wanted to do something. He wanted to give something. So he started thinking about it very often. And he felt as if that notice was watching him. And later on, he realized maybe God also was watching him. And in a way, God and the notice were one. And they both are watching him. It was not until the day before Christmas Eve that he decided to give the goat kid to the church. He woke up with a decision. It was as if it had been made for him and he knew that there was no escaping it. He had already grown deeply fond of the little goat and it seemed to him a very great thing to sacrifice. That day, there was no school and he spent most of the afternoon in the pigsty kneeling on the strewed floor, combing the delicate milky hair of the little goat with a horse comb. In the sty, the smell of goats was strong, but he did not notice it. It had long since penetrated his body and whatever clothes he wore. So finally, before the Christmas Eve, one day before the Christmas Eve, he decided that he will give the goat kid to the church, the kid of six weeks. Now he woke up with this decision and he felt that it was made for him and there was no escaping it. So he decided and he was very fond of this little goat. That day there was no school and he spent his entire afternoon in the pigsty and he was combing the delicate milky hair of the little goat with a horse comb. Now the smell of the goats was so strong he did not notice it because it has already penetrated or moved along in his body and whatever clothes he wore because he was there the entire afternoon. By the time he finished brushing and combing the goat, he felt extremely proud and glad of it. He did not know what other people would give. No gift was too great nor too small. Perhaps people would give things like oranges and nuts or toys and Christmas trees, but no one else would give what he was giving, something small and beautiful and living. That was his friend. When the goat kid was ready, he tied a piece of clean string round its neck. His plan for taking it down into the town was simple. Every Christmas Eve, he had to go and visit an aunt who kept a small corner grocery store in the town. This aunt would give him a box of dates for his father, a box of chocolates for his mother and some sort of present for himself. All he had to do was to take that kid with him under cover of darkness. It was so light that he could carry it in his hands. After he finished brushing and combing the coat, he felt very happy or he felt very proud of himself and he did not know what other people would give. Like no gift was great nor too small. He knew that. But he thought maybe people would give like oranges, nuts, toys or some Christmas trees. 
but no one would give what he was giving something small beautiful and living and that too his friend now when the goat kid was ready and even he was ready he tied a piece of clean string around its neck so that he could take it with him now his plan for taking the goat along with him to the town was very simple because every christmas eve he had to go and visit an aunt and she had a small corner grocery store in the town now this aunt would give some things for his parents as well as for him for his father she would give a box of dates and for the mother a box of chocolates and for him some kind of present or some gift now all he had to do was to take the kid with him under cover of darkness so that other people don't see it was so light he could carry it in his hands also he got down into the town just before 7 o'clock when the goat grew tired of walking he would carry it in his arms only one thing troubled him he did not know what the procedure at the church would be they might he imagined be a long sort of desk with men in charge he would go to this desk and say very simply i have brought this and come away he was rather frightened to find the windows of the church full of light he saw people carrying parcels going through the door he saw the notice this means you he felt slightly nervous as he stood on the other side of the street with the kid at his side like a little dog finally when there were no more people going into the church he decided to go in so before 7 o'clock he reached town and whenever the goat would get tired of walking he would carry it in his arms now only one thing he was worrying about and that was the procedure of the church he did not know that so he started imagining maybe there is a long sort of desk with men sitting there and in charge of it and he would have to go to that desk and just very simply just say that i have brought this just give the goat to them and come away but what happened when he went near the church he saw the church was full of light and he was scared he was frightened he saw people carrying parcels going through the door now he saw the notice again this means you and he felt little nervous so he stood on the other side of the street with the goat kid as if it was like a little dog and then finally when there was no more people going into the church he decided to go inside when he went into the church he was surprised to find it almost full of people there was already a sort of service in progress he sat hastily down at the end of a pew he saw at the other end of the church a reconstruction of the manger and child and the wise men who had followed the moving star the stable and manger reminded him of the pigsty where the goats were kept his first impression was that it would be a good sleeping place for the kid he sat for some minutes before anything happened the clergyman was talking of the grace of giving they he said brought frankincense and myrrh you cannot bring frankincense but what you have brought has a sweeter smell the smell of sacrifice for others now when he went inside the church he was surprised to find it was almost full of people and there was already some sort of service going on some program was going on inside the church so he went and sat down in the end of a pew what's a pew it is a long bench and he also saw at the other end of the church a reconstruction of the manger and the child and the wise men who had followed the moving star so there was a crib now manger is nothing but a crib it is a wooden or stone feeding trough or food box that holds hay for larger farm animals so when he looked at that he thought that this would be the perfect place or a good place for the kid 
Now he sat there for some time without saying anything. And the clergyman, that is the male priest or the religious leader, was giving a speech on grace of giving. And he said, they brought frankincense and myrrh. Both frankincense and myrrh are nothing but type of fragrance. Some good smell like perfumes. So the clergyman or the male priest, he continues, they brought frankincense and myrrh, but you cannot bring frankincense. But what you have given or what you have brought, it has a much better smell or a sweeter smell. And that is the smell of sacrifice for others. You are trying to be helpful. As he spoke, a man immediately in front of the boy turned to his wife, sniffing and then whispering, Funny smell of frankincense. Yes, she whispered. She too was sniffing now. I noticed it, but did like to say. They began to sniff together, like dogs. After some moments, the woman turned and saw the boy and the goat in his arms. Look round, she said. The man turned and now he too saw the goat. Well, he said. Well, no wonder. I wanted to give the goat, the boy said. Now a person, a man, he was sitting in front of the boy and he turned towards his wife, sniffing and he whispered, funny smell of frankincense. So she whispered again saying, yes, I noticed it but I didn't like to say and they both started sniffing like dogs. They wanted to know where that smell is coming from. And after few moments or after few seconds, the woman turned and saw the boy and she saw the goat in his arms and she told to her husband, look round, turn back. And the man also saw the boy as well as the goat and he said, well, no wonder. So he realized that smell was from the goat and the boy. So the boy said, I wanted to give the goat. Yes, I know, the man said, but you got the wrong idea. A goat's no use to anybody. The boy walked down the steps of the church into the street, the goat quiet now in his arms. He did not look at the notice, which had said for so long, this means you. It was clear to him now that he had made a sort of mistake. It was clear that the notice did not mean him at all. So the man responds, Yes, I know, but you got the wrong idea. A goat's no use to anybody. The boy had mistaken the message. It was not meant to give some gifts. It was all about sacrificing for your loved ones or for others. Sacrificing for the sake of others that is trying to be helpful towards others now this boy he walked down the steps he left the church and he went towards his home and on his way back the goat was quiet now in his arms and he did not look at the notice when he left this means you he did not see that and it was very clear to him now that he had made a mistake it was not meant for him at all outside the town he walked slowly in the darkness. The night air was silent and the kid seemed almost asleep in his arms. He was now not troubled that they did not want the goat. He was already glad that it would be his again. It was only about some other things that he was troubled. He had for a long time believed that at Christmas there must be snow on the ground, bells ringing and a moving star. But now there was no snow on the ground, there were no bells ringing and far above him and the little goat the stars were still. Now outside the town when he was moving back towards his house in the darkness, the night air was very silent and the kid was almost asleep in his arms. And he was now not troubled, he was not worried about the gift or the goat. Now he was very happy that he got his goat back. But he was worried about some other things. He had believed 
that during Christmas, there will be snow on the ground, bells ringing everywhere and a moving star on the sky. But now, there was no snow on the ground, no bells were ringing and even the stars were still. I do hope you have understood this lesson and in case you have any doubts, you can comment below and keep watching for more videos and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and stay safe.